Hello students, welcome back. Let us take a look at the last question of exercise 11.2 of chapter 11, Constructions. We need to draw a triangle whose base is 12 centimeters. So we need a triangle with base 12 centimeters. Let's, let, call, let us call this base as AB. And the sum of its hypotenuse and other side is 18 centimeters. So this point is very important out here, hypotenuse. That means that we have a right angle triangle. Let the right angle be at point A. So I'll draw A. Now let my triangle be ABC. So the third point is C that we need to find out. So how do we do this? First of all, they're telling you that the sum of the third point, so you have the third point as C. Now that means CA plus CB is equal to 18 centimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take length equal to 18 centimeters and I'm going to cut an arc over here. Right? Let this point be x. This is similar to the first question except for the point that you've not been given the angle over here and we have to understand that since they're saying hypotenuse, it is a right angle triangle. And once you draw this equal to 18 centimeters, you will join the point XB. Just excuse me for this curvy, I'm just lying because I'm just doing a free hand for you to understand. So I'm going to join XB and then I'm going to draw the perpendicular bisector of XB such that this perpendicular bisector cuts XA at point C and I'm going to join C to B. Now we need to prove that this CA plus CB is equal to how much? 18 centimeters. So how do we do this? See, according to the construction, what do you have? AX is equal to 18 centimeters. Right? This is something that we need to prove. So AX is 18 centimeters, but AX is made up of what? AC plus CX. So this is your AX. Right? But CB is equal to CX. Why? Because it lies on the perpendicular bisector of BX. Therefore, it is going to be equidistant from the endpoints of the line segment that it is the perpendicular bisector of. So you have CB is equal to CX. Right? So over here, instead of CX, I can write CB. Right? Therefore, what do I get? AX is equal to AC plus CB. And what do we need? CA plus CB. So instead of AC, I'll just say CA. Sorry, AC. So AC plus CB is equal to AX, which is equal to 18 centimeters. Therefore, we have proved that AC plus CB is equal to 18 centimeters. Pretty simple. Let us go ahead and do the construction. So I'm going to first draw the base AB equal to 12 centimeters. So this is my AB. I will draw a right angle triangle at A. How do you draw a right angle triangle? With A as the center, you're going to cut an arc on AB. Without changing this length, you're going to divide this arc into three equal parts. So since these arcs are equal in length, they will subtend equal angle at the center. That in which is the center? It is angle A. Right? Now, this entire angle from A to this point is 180 degrees. Therefore, each angle will be how much? 180 degrees divided by 3, which is equal to 60 degrees. So each angle here is 60 degrees. I'm going to join these two points out here. So this angle out here is 60 degrees. I need 90 degree at angle A. So this angle is also 60 degrees, right? If I bisect it, I will get 30 degrees. So 30 degrees plus 60 degrees is 90 degrees. So let us go ahead and bisect this angle at the center. So drawing the angle bisector, let us join the point of intersection and extend this line. So this AB first of all was how much? 12 centimeters. We need to so 
So this was 12 centimeters. Now we need to cut an arc equal to 18 centimeters. So let's say this length here is 18 centimeters. I will call it x, a x, right? According to the construction out there, and I'm going to join x to b. So joining x to b. So I have joined x to b. Now the third, the other step is to draw the perpendicular bisector of x b or b x such that it should intersect a x. So how do we do this? Take more than half the length of b x and cut arcs on either side using b and x as the center one at a time. Since you see so many arcs, it is always best practice to first mark the point of intersection and join because once you have missed out, you are definitely going to miss out everything. Now you are going to join these two points of intersection that will be the perpendicular bisector of XB. So this point intersects my line segment AX at point C. Therefore I have angle ACB or ABC as my required triangle where the sum of AC plus CB is 18 centimeters. This base is 12 centimeters and this angle A is 90 degrees. So I am going to highlight this again for you. Triangle ABC. This triangle is your required triangle. Now let's go ahead and write the construction steps. So students, I have, I hope you have taken a note of this construction and proof. So step one, you're going to draw base AB is equal to 12 centimeters. Then you draw an angle of 90 degrees. So let this angle be YAB. So draw angle YAB is equal to 90 degrees. Then you cut the length equal to 18, centimeter, 18 centimeters which is equal to the sum of the sides on this line segment AY. So this length AX is 18 centimeters. So cut AY at point X such that AX is equal to 18 centimeters. Now you are going to join X to B, right? So join XB or BX. So I am just saying join XB and the next step is to draw the perpendicular bisector of XB such that it intersects AX at point C. Then you are going to join BC. Therefore you have your desired triangle that is triangle ABC is the required triangle. So here is the construction steps and here is the construction. Please take a look.
Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.